Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel Seek Knowledge with Anne. In my previous video I had introduced a word triumph. Did you use it? No, no, it is locked down and we hardly meet people to talk to and use such words. Anyway, I will tell you the meaning of the word triumph again along with an example. The meaning of the word triumph is a great victory. Example, India triumphed over Pakistan in the Kargil War. It means that India had a great victory against Pakistan in the Kargil War. I hope this example made you understand the meaning of the word better. Anyway, we'll go to the video. So first we'll talk about the area of Kerala. Uh, doesn't this uh, look like a bitukan? For me it does. Anyway, the area of Kerala is 38,863 square kilometers and you can see from the map that the width of Kerala varies right from the north to the south and this variation is between 30 kilometers to 120 kilometers and the coastal length of Kerala is 590 kilometers and so Kerala is the 21st largest state by area in India. You, we all know that India has only 29 states out of which Kerala is the 21st state. So in other words we can say that Kerala is one of the small states in India. Now we will talk about the population density in Kerala. What is population density? Population density is the number of people living per square kilometer. What is square per square kilometer? Per square, kilo, square kilometer is the area inside a square whose side is 1 kilometer and the area inside this square is 1 square kilometer. So the density of Kerala, the population density of Kerala is 859 people living per square kilometer thus making Kerala the 13th most largest state by population in India. Now we will talk about the districts in Kerala. Earlier when Kerala was just formed it had only 5 districts but now it has 14 districts okay and the, the lastly made district was Kassar Code. Now we will talk about the tips that is the northern and the southern tip of Kerala. Then in the north we have Kasargod and in the south we have Tirvan and the Puram. The, now we will talk about the speciality of Kasargod. Kasargod has as many as seven languages used actively by a considerable number of people and so it has it goes by the nickname the Saptabhasya Sanghama Bhumi that is the land of seven languages and Kasargod has the maximum number of rivers flowing in Kerala. Kasargod has 12 rivers flowing through it. Okay, And do you know how many rivers Kerala has got? Kerala has 44 rivers flowing through it. Out of the 44, 41 drains to the Arabian Sea while the rest three meets the Kaveri. And now we will talk about Tiruvanandapuram. We all know Tiruvanandapuram was formerly known as Trivandrum and it is the capital of Kerala. And Tiruvanandapuram is the home to the world's richest Hindu temple, Sri Padmanabha Swami temple. Okay, It is the world's richest temple. Don't forget that. And it is situated in our own Tiruvanandapuram. And that's all with Tiruvanandapuram. And now we will talk about the smallest and the biggest district in Kerala. The smallest district in Kerala is the Alipura, which is formerly known as Alipi. Now, Alipi uh, goes by the nickname the Venice of the East. You know, how did it get its name, Venice of the East? Before I tell you that, I would like to talk a little bit about Venice. Venice is a metropolitan city in Italy. And it, and Venice is built on 118 small islands and so it is called as the floating city. Okay. And George Curzon 
who was the viceroy of India then saw that there was a lot in common between uh, Venice and Alapura and called Alapura uh, the Venice of the East or the Venetian capital of Kerala. And now we'll talk about the Kutanad. Kutanad is a, is, is a region, is a place in Alapura district. And Kutanad is the lowest, has is the region with the lowest altitude in India. Not attitude, altitude. It has it is the low Kutanad has the lowest altitude in India. It is 2.2 meters below the sea level. And it is also one of the few places in the world that supports farming below the sea level. And now we will talk about the biggest district, Palakkad. So Palakkad is known for its Palakkad Gap. Before I tell you what is Palakkad Gap, I would like to talk a little bit about Western Ghats. So uh, the green patch that you see on the map is the Western Ghat. It starts from uh, so north in Gujarat and it ends in Tamil Nadu. And when you look closely, only in the district of, uh, I mean, only in the state of Kerala, you can see that this Western Ghat is in a is in a continuous stretch. Except in Palakkad, there is a gap. Okay, and this gap is called is called as the Palakkad Gap. And Palakkad is known as the gateway of Kerala because of the presence of this Palakkad Gap. And we might have all heard about the Silent Valley, which is on the Western Ghat. So Silent Valley is considered to be one of the most ecologically diverse area on the planet. In short, we can say that it is a storehouse of biodiversity. And the park is the core of the Nilgiri biosphere. And the highest peak in uh, Western Ghat is the Anamudi. And it is uh, situated in the Idiki district. So that is a speciality about Palakkad and Western Ghats. And now we have reached the end of the video. And so it is a time for a new word. Today's word is pursue. P-U-R-S-U-E. -E. It means to follow or chase someone or something. Okay. So that is all for today. And please don't forget to support me. So till the next video, stay home, stay safe and stay tuned. Bye.